Hi, brothers and sisters. I was sitting here and I just feel like the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. And if you have been sub to me for some time, I don't know if you'll remember the wake vision I had of the Statue of Liberty slamming its torch into the harbor. I think I shared that like three years ago, two and a, two years ago, I don't know. But um, when I did that video, I had used a random picture of a guy eating an ice cream cone. And I knew that that awake vision symbolized a freedoms being taken away in America. And... At the time, I didn't know the picture was Joe Biden. I, I just didn't really dawn on me that that was Joe Biden eating an ice cream cone. And there was a sister that came on and said, and I did uh, another video um, sharing that too, but she said, I had a dream that I saw the Statue of Liberty and it had a pink ice cream cone and the ice cream was melting. So that represents peace. It, pink is peace. So that represents peace being taken away. And it just occurred to me and dawned on me, wow, okay. <laughs> it, you know, the Lord was referring to Joe Biden. And he was showing us that our liberties would be stripped away under his administration. That America would have peace taken away. The There would be no more liberties. That's the Statue of Liberty. She's slamming her torch into the harbor and then in, in a vision and then in a, uh, a dream the pink ice cream is melting away and ice cream in my dreams anything with like milk it's representing grace so now there's no liberty for America there's no grace for America and I use that picture of Joe Biden eating an ice cream and I typed in Joe Biden eating ice cream, and this was two days ago. Jenny and Joe Biden, a love story. And he says, I eat more ice cream than any three other people you'd like to be with. All at once, Biden said at a 2016 press conference. A look at Joe Biden's ice cream obsession. Joe Biden's campaign spent over $10,000 on ice cream. This is the weirdest thing, you guys. And this is how the Holy Spirit works. I'm telling you, you guys, things are gonna not be good. But anyway, I love you guys. God bless.